Some people argue that nepotism is bad for Hollywood, preventing new talent from taking center stage, while actors get leading roles based on the fame of their famous parents. Whatever your opinion, you have to agree that some nepotism babies outshine their parents, whether it is acting skills or in the looks department. In this week's video, I'm counting down my picks for the top 10 nepotism babies who are in some ways better than their dads. You know, sort of, the copy is better than the original. This will also be my first video featuring actors born after 1985. Lewis Pullman is the son of actor Bill Pullman and made his acting debut in 2017's The Ballad of Lefty Brown, starring opposite his father. Not only can he act, but he has a few musical talents up his sleeve as well. Pullman plays the drums in the band Atta Boy alongside fellow nepotism baby Eden Brolin, who is the daughter of Josh Brolin, who himself is a nepotism baby. Believe it or not, there was a time when Josh Brolin built a career for himself riding on the fame of his father, legendary actor James Brolin. Anyway, back to Pullman, who had his first leading role in the 2018 slasher The Strangers Pray at Night. The movie received mixed to poor reviews, but at least it helped to introduce the world to Lewis, who can currently be seen in Prime Video's Outer Range. Chet Hanks has labeled himself as the black sheep of the Hanks family and it's easy to see why. Covered in tattoos, drug addictions, as well as anger management issues, Chet is the complete opposite of his famous father. You're gonna cry? He started his career in 2007 with small roles in movies, but his career was halted as a result of his addiction. After nearly a decade of sobriety, Hanks returned to mainstream acting with roles in the American version of Shameless, Kirby Enthusiasm and Empire. You might recognize John David Washington from 2023's The Creator, but he's been acting since 1992 and is the son of the two-time Academy Award winning actor Denzel Washington. He started his career in college football at Morehouse College, but wanted to make the shift into acting like his father. He also had a professional football career, but I know nothing about football so I'll just skip that part. I'll just embarrass myself if I try and talk about football or any sort of sport for that matter. Well, I've established contact and created some familiarity with the Klansman over the phone. Though he had a few minor roles as a child, his breakthrough role was in the 2015's HBO series Ballers, for which he received positive reviews from critics and viewers alike. Son of actors Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid, Jack Quaid made his acting debut with a minor role in the 2012 movie The Hunger Games, followed by several smaller roles in movies before landing his breakout role as Huey Campbell in the Amazon Prime series The Boys. In 2018, he appeared in a music video for Creedence Clearwater Revival's Have You Ever Seen The Rain, which was recorded in celebration of the song's 50th anniversary. Have you ever It seems his career is finally making some waves in Hollywood, as he has made appearances in movies like Rampage, Scream and even Oppenheimer. Only time will tell if he can live up to his father's legacy or whether he'll carve a name for himself in Hollywood on his own terms. I for one am excited to see what's next for this actor. If you were alive back in the 90s, you'll probably know who Mark Consuelos is, whether it is from his days on All My Children or perhaps 2070's Riverdale. But did you know he has a son who is also an actor? And that his son portrayed the younger version of his character in Riverdale. That's right, we're talking about Michael Consuelos, who might not be as big of a deal as his father was at his age, but I'm sure he's getting there. He currently only has 6 acting credits to his name, including 3 episodes of The Goldbergs, but I'm pretty sure he'll be able to build up an impressive career as time goes by. What do you think? Do you think he has what it takes to make it in Hollywood? Or is he just riding on the name of his more successful father? Let me know in the comments. Deacon Filippi is clearly a mixture between his more famous parents, Ryan Filippi and Reese Witherspoon. In July 2022, Netflix announced that Deacon was joining the third season of Never Have I Ever. And that was basically it. He hasn't had any other acting credits since then and it seems he doesn't have any projects in pre-production either. During an interview with People magazine, he revealed that his passion was in music and that his love for music was inspired by his father's love for music. I guess that's one thing he has in common with his famous dad. 
Though there is a lot of media coverage and photos of Deacon Felipe, it doesn't seem to be generated because of his acting career or even his music career which is lingering as digital music on his laptop. I think it's safe to say that he's in a spotlight only because of his famous parents. The 80s and 90s had an abundance of action movies starring the ultimate bodybuilder turned actor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now I know what you're thinking, finally we have someone to continue Arnold's legacy. Well, sort of. Patrick followed in his father's footsteps, but those were some pretty big shoes to fill. Though he mostly does modeling for a living, Patrick has appeared in supporting roles in movies like 2012's Stuck in Love, 2013's Grown Ups 2 and 2015's Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. He had more prominent roles in movies like 2018's Midnight Sun and 2019's Daniel Isn't Real, the latter earning him universal praise by critics. Though he might not be the massive action hero his father was to many, he did however join the cast of Prime Video's The Boy spin-off series, Jane V, portraying Golden Boy. Though I'll be honest, I've never watched this show. Son of the Academy Award winning actor Jeremy Irons, Max Irons made his acting debut in 2004, but his breakout role is considered to be that of Henry in 2011's Red Riding Hood. Considered as a cash grab attempt at cashing in on the success of 2008's Twilight, Red Riding Hood was a romantic horror fantasy and a twist on the classic fairy tale. The movie received mostly negative reviews from viewers and critics, calling it a foolish story, bland and filled with bad acting. In 2013, he landed the lead role in a film adaptation of Stephanie Meyer's The Host, which promised audiences to be the next Twilight. Humanity as we know it has been wiped out. Despite the movie being based on a book by the Twilight author, the film couldn't replicate the success of Twilight and underperformed at the box office. Irons went on to star in a couple of movies thereafter, but has mostly gone under the radar. It seems fate wasn't on his side when it comes to having a successful acting career on par with that of his father. What difference does it make to me whether your parents are married or not? The splitting image of his father, Damon Wayans Jr. is sometimes mistaken for Damon Wayans. He made his acting debut in 1994 when he was cast in his father's feature film Blank Man, portraying the younger version of David Alan Greer's character. He later appeared on his father's sitcom My Wife and Kids as one of Junior's friends, before becoming a staff writer on the series. In 2011, he landed one of his first big roles in the ABC comedy Happy Endings, which received critical acclaim during its three-season run. Unfortunately, the series wasn't renewed for a fourth, despite Wayans Jr. receiving various accolades for his performance. When the series ended, he joined the cast of New Girl for seasons 3 to 7, having made only a guest appearance in the pilot back in 2011. This actor who can pass for a doppelganger for his father has had a fairly successful career and can currently be seen as the host of the CBS game show Raid the Cage. This Swedish actor had his breakthrough role portraying the vampire Eric Northman in the television series True Blood, which aired for seven seasons between 2008 and 2014, and received numerous awards including multiple primetime Emmys. He speaks French, Swedish and English fluently and has been voted the sexiest man in Sweden five times, despite being the first actor portraying Tarzan not to wear a loincloth. Son of the legendary actor Stellan Skarsgård, Alexander has built up an impressive career of his own in Hollywood, starring in blockbuster movies like Godzilla vs Kong, The Northman, as well as Legend of Tarzan. But to many he'll remain Eric Northman from True Blood. Quick bonus entry for you, Bill Skarsgård is the son of Stalin and the younger brother of Alexander. He's best known for portraying Pennywise in the 2017 adaptation of Stephen King's It and will portray the lead character in the Crow reboot. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I've got something else that you can maybe give a try by clicking on this link over here. You're also more than welcome to browse my channel for videos that you might enjoy. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.